I've got some huge Facebook ads news, and that's that we now have a new Facebook ads learning phase. It's very different from what we had previously. It now means we can rethink our entire approach to Facebook advertising. In this video, I'm going to explain what the new Facebook ads learning phase is and the adjustments that we can now make to our Facebook advertising strategy because of it. Okay, so before I go through the details of the new Facebook ads learning phase and compare it obviously to, to the previous one and explain what that means, the ramifications of that for Facebook advertisers, I'm just going to very quickly explain what the Facebook ads learning phase actually is, because I'm sure there are some people watching this video that don't know that. So the learning phase is basically once you launch a new Facebook ad campaign, it learns, it goes through what's called the learning phase. And that's Meta's machine learning processes, their AI effectively, um, trying to work out how to get you the best possible results based on what you have asked for and the inputs that you have, you have given. So let's say, for example, you're running a sales campaign that's optimizing for purchases. Meta can assuming you've got your pixel set up correctly and all that sort of stuff, Meta can see who is buying your products based on your advertising, who isn't, and they can use that information to adjust how your campaign is delivered. So that's gonna include things like within the targeting options that you've given, who should they actually put your ads in front of? Because there's probably gonna be a small subsection within your targeting options that produce the best results. So Meta's gonna try and find those. That's one of the things they're gonna do in the learning phase. In the learning phase, they're also gonna work out how many impressions on average does each person need to convert, to go ahead and purchase or become a lead or whatever. Is it two impressions? Is it six impressions? They're gonna work that sort of stuff out. Is it better to spread your ad budget across lots of people, but quite thinly in terms of impressions, like each person gets one or two impressions, but quite thin? Or is it better to concentrate those impressions and each person gets six, seven, eight impressions, um, but fewer people actually see your ads? They're gonna work out things like what time of day produces the best results, what day of the week produces the best results, and all these various elements go into working out how to get you the best possible results. And that's why it's so important to set up your campaign in a way that Meta can understand what it is that you actually want as an advertiser. What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Do you want leads? Do you want purchases? What is it that you really want? Because if Meta knows what you want, they can then learn, the AI systems can learn and try and get you those things. So that's that's what the learning phase is and designed to do. And it's really important and it's a great thing that it happens because it helps us all get much better results, but it's something that you need to be aware of. Now, the learning phase happens when you launch a new campaign. It also happens after you make a significant adjustment to that campaign. So if, for example, you create a new ad to add into that campaign, um, even if you make an adjustment to an existing ad, if you change your targeting settings or your placement settings or any of the major things at the ad set level, then that ad set will go back into the learning phase. And it's one of the reasons why people like me don't recommend that you make adjustments to your Facebook ad campaigns all the time. If you're constantly in there and tweaking and adjusting things, then you are constantly going back into the learning phase. You're going into that this period of experimentation and you're unlikely to get the best results. So we, for a long time, people like me have recommended that you want consistency with your ad campaigns. Yes, you want to be able to test things and adjust things, but don't do it twice a day or every day. You want to space those out uh, obviously depending on your conversion volume. So the old Facebook ads learning phase, the requirement to, to get out of the learning phase, the, the data that Meta needed that they said was 50 conversions within seven days. And that is conversions of whatever it is that you're optimizing for. So if you've got a sales campaign optimizing for purchases, then it's 50 purchases. But if you've got a sales campaign optimizing for add to carts, then it's 50 add to carts. And that's what Meta wanted um, to learn. Now meeting that requirement, getting to those 50 conversions within seven days, is just impossible for some businesses, particularly those that are relatively small, operating with a, with a smaller budget. They might be generating five or 10 conversions in a week. And this most often happens, to be fair, with service-based businesses where they only work with a few customers, um, they're really high value and their lead flow is never gonna get to 50 a week realistically, not until they scale massively. And what happens then is that the campaign wouldn't get out of the learning phase and it would get stuck in something called learning limited. And you would see this alongside um, your ad sets. And a lot of advertisers would freak out about that. They think, well, my campaign's not optimized properly. It hasn't got the data to get the right results and we're stuck in, in learning limited. And that obviously wasn't ideal. You want Meta's really powerful AI systems and machine learning processes to be on your side. You want them to do all the things that we've already discussed in this video around helping you advertise at the right time of the day to the right type of the people, the right amount of times, all that sort of stuff to get you the best possible results. And if they're saying learning limited, it's not able to do that effectively. So that's been one of the, the big challenges for advertisers with the learning phase has been getting out of the learning phase, particularly smaller ones, getting past learning limited and getting your ad campaign to the point where it says that it's active. And that left advertisers with a bit of a dilemma because you could either operate with say 20 leads a week 
not get out of the learning phase and be stuck in learning limited, but optimizing for what you really want, which is leads, which is usually what would be my recommendation. Or you could start to think, well, maybe I could change what I'm optimizing for because I'm not getting 20 leads a week, but I'm getting more than 50 landing page views a week. So I could instead go ahead and optimize for landing page views and that will get me out of the learning phase. And that would be true, but you might see worse overall results because you're not optimizing for what you really want. Meta's putting all that uh, brain power that it's got, all that AI power into getting you as many landing page views as possible instead of as many leads as possible, which often didn't produce a better result, even if it did help you get out of the learning phase. So it really left advertisers in, in a bit of a difficult situation. Now, the new learning phase is really quite different. So instead of needing 50 conversions in a week, Meta are now saying it's 10 conversions within three days. Now, obviously generating 10 conversions in three days is a lot easier than generating 50 conversions in a week. You can operate with a smaller budget. And yes, it's a shorter time frame, but the number of conversions is that much less that it's still uh, much easier for advertisers to achieve. Now that means that we can make some adjustments as Facebook and Instagram advertisers. So if you had before decided to optimize for something higher up uh, the funnel. So if you think about the top of the funnel being like a link click and then you go down and you might have initiate checkout and add to cart and purchase and hopefully that makes sense in terms of the, the progression here, right? If you wanted to optimize for say purchases but you just weren't getting 50 conversions in a week and you thought, I just can't do this, I'm gonna have to go for something higher up the funnel, I'm gonna have to go for something like add to cart or initiate checkout or maybe even just the link click right at the top. Because the requirement to get out of the learning phase is that much less, you may now be able to go for a conversion event that's lower down the funnel. And we know that that's good because if you can do that, that means that Meta's gonna be optimizing for what you really want and you're likely to get better results. You might not be generating 50 conversions in a week, but you might be generating 25 conversions in a week. Well, as long as you get 10 within three days, you're, you're fine. You can now go ahead and optimize for that purchase conversion event. And obviously the same principle is gonna apply with uh, lead campaigns and, and other campaign types. You can now optimize for things lower down the funnel. It also means that you might be able to make changes more frequently. Now, I've said to people before, look, as a general rule of thumb, don't make adjustments to your ad campaigns more than once every seven days because you've roughly had this seven day learning phase window. Now, of course, for a lot of advertisers, if you're generating really large conversion volume, you got through the learning phase much faster. Um, some businesses are generating smaller conversion volume needed to wait longer than seven days to be able to make a call on ads because if you only generate a few conversions a week, how would you know if an ad's working or not after seven days, you don't. But the same principle now apply, but we're gonna shorten the time frame. So instead of the general rule of thumb being don't make adjustments um, in a shorter time window than seven days, with those caveats I've mentioned, now we could say don't make adjustments more often than every three days. Again, with the caveats mentioned, there's still be businesses that generate 10 conversions in an afternoon and you're through the learning phase really quickly. And there are gonna be others that generate really small conversion volume that need to wait much longer to make adjustments to their ad campaigns to know if an ad's working. But I do think in general with this change, that's one of the big, big things that's gonna help Facebook advertisers being able to condense that time period so that you can get through more tests and more iterations of new ads, targeting options, whatever it is that you're looking to test quicker. Um, and that's obviously gonna help us get better results over the long run because we're gonna learn, Meta's gonna learn, we're gonna have more goes at ads and things like that that gives you a greater percentage chance of getting great results. Those two things are a really big shift that we can make based on this adjustment to the learning phase. Now, as you can see from this video, it's obviously really important to stay up to date with the latest changes when it comes to Facebook and Instagram advertising if you want the best possible results. Now, the best way for me to help you with that stuff is through Facebook Ads Mastery, my brand new course with community. And there will not only let you know about all the updates and changes that happen as soon as they happen, but also what that means for you as a Facebook Instagram advertiser and the adjustments that you can now make. It's brand new course material, never before seen, very much latest up-to-date stuff created by me and my team. And it's the stuff that we use to train new staff members. So very much cutting edge um, and some really, really cool, useful information in there. And there's also a whole community angle. It's done on school. So there's loads of communication from me and my team uh, in, in, in amongst the, the members of Facebook Ads Mastery. We've got over 450 people in there um, already, all talking and, and helping each other out, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we do live calls and trainings regularly in there as well. And if you're interested, there is a link in the video description. You can click through there and go ahead and uh, check it out. And I hope to see you on the inside. So before you run off and go crazy with your Facebook ad campaigns and start making loads of changes, it's important for me to say that stability is still an important factor. 
that hasn't changed. Yes, we might be able to make changes more often, but we still want to try and keep things consistent and stable if you're constantly switching between different campaign types and adding things in and running a split test here and adding new ads and making tweaks multiple times a day, your ad campaigns are going to suffer and your results are going to suffer. And there is the formal learning effect and that has changed significantly, but it's also worth noting that we know that Facebook ad campaigns continue to learn after the learning phase. So yes, under the previous learning phase, you might have generated 100 conversions in a week. Uh, you might be nicely out of the learning phase, but once you've generated 1,000 conversions total, your ad campaigns will probably perform better when they generated 100. And once they generate 5,000 conversions, they generate better results than when they've just generated 1,000 because Meta continues to learn, continues to compound, obviously like with anything, just like when we're learning a new skill, right? The most intense learning period is at the beginning because you have no idea and you're learning on hyperspeed, but you do something, you carry on, you keep learning, you keep getting better at it, maybe not at the same pace, but it still helps improve things. So stability and being able to just increase overall conversion numbers within an ad account, I think is still really important and still gonna help um, your ad campaigns. Also, this new learning phase is a new feature. It's only available in some of our ad accounts right now. That's why I grabbed a screenshot to show you with because I didn't want, learning phase stuff disappears obviously as the campaigns learn, so you sort of kind of need to capture it anyway. But just, it may well be out of the ad account I was planning on recording this video in, so I just grabbed a screenshot so I'd be able to, um, to show you. And I imagine a lot of people watching this video at this point don't yet have it. From what I have heard, this is likely to be rolled out. And it does make sense because for a while now, we've been seeing Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns get out of the learning phase, even when they don't meet the 50 conversions in seven days criteria. Like you can see, because it says alongside your ad set, learning when it's in the learning phase, and then it will go active once you're out of the learning phase. And that's been happening with ad campaigns much sooner than seven days and with less conversions of 50. So we kind of think some behind the scenes stuff has been happening a little bit along these lines anyway. But the fact that Meta are making this official um, and, and we're seeing it now in ad accounts is great. But you might not have this yet. Just be aware of that. If you're gonna go dive in and start making changes and things along those lines, increasing budget more quickly, maybe you want to hold off until you see this sort of message pop up in, in your ad account. From what we can see so far, there's not been any additional um, like information in the meta support docs for advertisers. Normally when they make a change like this, they will release something maybe between when I record this and this actually gets published, that will come out. But as of the time of recording, uh, we haven't got that yet. I think once they roll it out to everyone, that's like normally when we see some uh, documentation around it and, and some information that we know this is, this is here to stay. Uh, but just something to be aware of that this may be in your ad account, may not. So don't just immediately jump on onto this and start making adjustments that I've recommended because you might not actually have this yet. And this is a good example of AI making things easier for advertisers, making the situation better for advertisers. Meta's AI is getting smarter and smarter and smarter at getting us results. And clearly they've worked out that they can now learn with less data Obviously that's a, a smarter system being able to do that, which is great because it means advertisers don't need to operate with as large a budget in order to get out of the learning phase. They can test smaller, um, they can optimize things lower down the funnel, they can make adjustments, all the good stuff that we've talked about that, that are knock-on effects from this. But I think this is a trend we're gonna, con we're gonna see continue and continue, that as Meta, as AI gets smarter and smarter, more and more stuff is gonna be automated, more of the settings type stuff is going to be, um, improved automatically by what Meta can do, which is fantastic. It allows us advertisers to crack on with what really, really matters, which is gonna be the offers that we put together, the products and services that we sell, and of course, the ads themselves, the copy and the creative. Um, and those will be the, the main focus and those will be the areas for competitive advantage as well. Not necessarily all the settings, which I think is a good thing. So some elements of Facebook advertising change all the time, right? We've had big changes to targeting. I've talked about big change um, to the learning phase, but other things are much more constant. And in this video here, I share the lessons, the truths that I've learned about Facebook advertising from 11 years of running ads on the platform, which seems like an enormous amount of time, um, spending more than 50 million ads, generating more than 200 million for more than 2000 clients. Um, in that time period. So a ton of experience, I boil it all down into that video. It's a big one, but it's a lot of value. I think you should go ahead and check it out.